Here we are in the Pilates garage to tune up the roll-up. Good morning. We're going to talk about the physics of the roll-up. So if I roll down to prepare for my roll-up, right now my body is in equilibrium. And what that means is that means that there's an equal amount of force pushing up to the floor that's countering the equal amount of force pushing down by my body in gravity. So when I go to roll up, I'm going to be rotating about an axis, and that axis is around your core hip area. And when I exert a force to roll up, I'm going to be exerting that force at a distance from that axis. That is what we call a torque. Now, the further away I apply the force, the greater torque I'm going to generate. So if I use my shoulders, which is not what I should do, I am further away from my axis of rotation, so I'm going to create a larger torque, and it's going to be in a clockwise direction. Well, my body wants to stay in equilibrium, so to counter that clockwise torque, it's going to generate a counterclockwise torque with my legs. So you can see when I try and use my shoulders, my legs come up. Now, when I go to create or apply a force in my core, the core is a lot shorter distance away from my axis of rotation, so therefore I'm going to create a smaller torque when I go to roll up. And you're going to notice when I do that, my legs don't move. Let's watch that again. When I go to use the core, my legs don't need to roll. 